Good afternoon, beloved Master Tanaka. Good afternoon. I am Saint Germain, and I always come with great pleasure to have this meeting with all of you. To all of you who follow our messages, my satisfaction in bringing our energies is immense. We are always present for all of you, and we are always present with our energies for everyone to carry out transformations in their lives so that everyone, through self-observation, can bring about the necessary and desired changes in their own lives. We observe that everyone, many times by thoughtless acts, denigrate their own energy. Thoughtless acts that make you live again and again adverse situations in your lives. Thoughtless acts caused by a nervousness, I will say, permanent in all of you. What is the cause of this alteration? I will put it this way. This alteration of mood present in your lives. Notice how all of you many times allow yourselves to have ups and downs in your mood. You allow yourself to have moments of nervousness. You allow yourself to have moments of joy. And you allow yourself many times to have moments of what is currently called stress. But why is this happening? Why do you still allow yourself to have these low vibrations in your life? Is it because of a complete lack of attention to your being? A complete lack of attention to what is causing these energy drops in your beings? Many times through habit, you allow yourself this lack of respect, this lack of love, and see this is a habit. It is only within this habit, which I tell you to observe and to also notice in other beings, this shortage of energy. It is not noticing that this lack of energy, this low vibration in reality, it is in your own being. It is you who through your own low energy causes all your environment to be in low vibration because it is through your low energy that you make everything that way. Remember, everything that is happening outside of yourself is a consequence. It is a reflection of what is happening inside yourself. This must be a constant reminder a living awareness in all of you so that through this awareness you start to observe what you are doing in your own being. Notice that many people are stressed. Many beings are emanating this low vibration to all beings, to all places, to all situations. And when you, from a habit, start to act in this inconsequential way, you start to cause in all other beings this low energetic vibration because you start to create an energetic egregor of what you call stress. So you see, you who are experiencing this type of experience, stop it. From the moment you become conscious that you are the responsible ones, that you are the sources of these low vibrations, all power returns to your being. All the power to make changes returns to your being. Be aware of raising your vibrations, of making only high vibrations part of your being. Begin to create energetic egregors of high vibrations. What they are always bringing to you are guidance for you to make your being. I will say the nucleus that will work like an antenna. 
that will cause other high vibrational energies to be drawn to you. And from that attraction, you start to form this elevated energetic egregor. And this elevated energetic egregor brings about changes in all of your surroundings. It brings about changes that are often visible to all beings. Many people think that changes are imperceptible. It starts to become more and more accentuated, more and more vibrant. All changes are perceptible to all beings. And when these changes are perceptible to all beings, these paths are open to all beings. Because through this recognition that these other beings have created these changes, this recognition opens the way for all beings. But see, if on the contrary, you only carry low vibration energy egregor, you are causing the other beings to follow this path. So, to all of you who follow our messages, you must be responsible for your attitudes. You must be responsible for your energies. You must be responsible for which path you are indicating to everyone around you. Everyone is responsible for the energy they emanate, which is why it should never cause low vibrations in other beings. What you must be aware of is to always be in high vibrations. Always aim to be the person who leads others onto the path of high vibration. Today you live in a time when often several beings are allowing you to lead them onto this high vibrational path. The joy that many feel around this time of year brings the opening for them to have this path open for them. The joy in which you participate in these festivities is an open path for you to lead these beings to the path of truth. Because joy opens doors and when many beings are in this state of joy, they are also in a state of grace. They are in a state of gratitude even though this gratitude is still conditioned within a belief but anyways, it is an opening. So what I advise you is to bring our messages to these beings who are open. Bring our messages so that through them, this path of truth can be opened again to these beings. It can be shown again to these beings. The choice to enter or not to enter into the path belongs to each one. So I ask all of you not to have this preconceived concept of other people. Do not have this fear of spreading our messages. Do not have this preconceived concept, this state of separation, I will tell you, of thinking that others will not understand our words. Allow everyone the opportunity to access these energies and respect the choice that each being will make. When many times you do not take in our messages even though you are not aware, the meaning behind this is a lack of respect for other beings because you are judging them. You are judging yourself and because of this, you cannot take in our messages. Therefore, I, Saint Germain, ask all of you, value your own being, value your neighbor, respect everyone, respect everyone. From the moment you spread the messages through respect, these messages will also be received with respect. This is very simple. But if you forward our messages through fear, a fear of judgment, 
it will also be received that way because this is the energy with which you are carrying our messages. It is formatting our messages within your beliefs. Our messages only have the energy of God, only have the energy of love, the energy of respect. So, as we are always pointing out to you the energy of God, it has no form. It is not under any conditioning. But when you carry our messages with these energies that I have been pointing out to you, you have shaped all the energy of our message, shaped it through a low vibration. So these messages that could lead to an opening of consciousness will lead them to your limitation. It will be formatted within this fear of yours. That is why I ask all of you when forwarding our messages to do it simply as a loving act. Do it without any pretense. Do it within the silencing of your own being. The messages, they are intended to lead all to the energy of God. So keep this in mind and do not add your expectation. Let the message reach all beings as they should be, pure, formless, in high vibrations, that our message lead everyone to the energy of God, to the recognition of the energy of God. So you see, it is not necessary for you to do any planning on how you're going to forward our messages. It's not necessary for you to do that. Simply send them free of expectations. Simply send them respecting the other being. Many of you many times expect an answer, expect a return from the other being. So, when you are in this awaiting, you are disrespecting them. You molded the energy of our message into this expectation. So, remember, just remember to carry out this forwarding of our messages with joy, with gratitude. For you had access to them. You had all this energy available to your being. Simply forward the messages with joy and gratitude, free from expectation. And so our messages will reach other beings as they were really channeled. Do this loving act to yourself and to others. Respect yourself and your neighbors. And respect the energy that is contained in each message with a lot of love. With a lot of gratitude, I say goodbye. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.